Hello my guys. Today we are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version. Um, so I'm going to begin the game, play through, probably do about two or three scenarios, see how it goes, see how I get on. I'm kind of hoping that this will be an in uninterrupted stream so you get the genuine re reactions of what I'm feeling with the game. So, uh, without further ado, off we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee 427. Number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. Sounds familiar. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, okay. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427... I love that. Hold escape for 35 minutes. Of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winking, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Does seem that way. Be made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Happy man. Happy man. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh-oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Okay. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, no. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Not ideal. In all his years I'd love company, to go to work with that. Happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Okay. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained okay. his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Stepped All out of my office. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do I really want to go to the meeting room? Do I really, really want to go... New content. I think we'll save that. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm going right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I do. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Uh, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It has Definitely. Really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It really Stanley is immaculate. Stood here, Although, it all in. I'm not keen on the rubbish. Like, that's not not ideal. Look at it. Look, coffee machine. Oh, coffee mug on the floor. Yes. Yeah. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished... Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. It's beautiful. Really worth it. Yeah, no, I like it. What time is it anyway? Let's have a look. Is that like real time? Oh my god, I think it is real time. At this time. point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Give me a it's drink. that this is why everyone left. Oh no. I didn't say that. That's nasty. I don't like that. Okay, let's continue. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Do I really want to? I don't think I do. I'm going to go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, it was. Whoop! Oopsie! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. That's exactly Good right. Job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I am powerful. Alright. Let's try All again. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I love that. I'm not going to do the new content. Not yet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And no, Stanley knew it it's not. Well. I wanted Perhaps to go for the employee to lounge the again. Employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. 
It is gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Exactly. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. I agree. This room is my solace. This is my... Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the... But eager to get back to okay. business, Stanley <laughs> took the first open door on his left. No. No, thank you. I don't want to. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm tempted to kill myself again, but... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, maybe. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this it's time. It's fine, it's, it's fine. you've been neglecting, oh. Stanley. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you yep. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? I think so. Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. I to show you, you something do. beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. All right. Stanley walked through the red door. No, I didn't. I walked through the blue door. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red the door. The blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. The red door. The blue door. That's where I want to go. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I really do. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Oh, look. Is this what you had wanted? Was there it worth the ruining textures. the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. He's and so the angry. End, it was all He's for so angry. Because this is what you wanted to see. It is. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Uh, there's what a platform over there. See? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Um, okay. Let's go. Third option. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, yep. tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing Definitely you a lot of choices? Definitely Feel a one. Free, to be honest, I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. It's a one. A one? <laughs> I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a yep. one? It's That's a not one. even helpful. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? It's a one. Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Well, I made a choice, and yeah, I say one. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's <laughs> take a look. This is because I suicided. Oh, look at this. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Okay. Let's go back this way. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, I don't think so. I'm going to give it a one again. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No, well, let not me at all. It up. Let's go. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if okay. he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting <laughs> the demands of family life. Yep, I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So yeah. why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I don't think I want to. Uh, off you go. Bye bye. Boy. There you go. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? 
Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm I just wanted the baby ideas. to burn. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for you. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Don't. It's wh over. What do you mean? Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Yeah, let's do that. the pain. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yeah, load me in. Load me in. I'll play another game. <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh -huh. Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? What's the... Hmm. Okay, volunteer. Well, it seems obvious to me that as you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps okay. for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Sounds good. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total oh, mental map. depravity. Lovely. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Okay, let's go. Lovely. Look at this. Amazing. How do we get down? Oh, there's a thing over there. Come on in. Let's go. How have I ended up in a fire tower? Sounds good. Far better than what we were doing before. No, 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 no. It can't be. It can't be what? What are you saying? You're it worried. Is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Uh, hey! Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that... that thing. No, that I want... big, open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can uh, just that's go... That's what I like. Oh, oh. oh. Uh. Heavens, we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Oh, there's a gap. Okay. I see a gap. I'm going to get us out of here. Can Let's I get find through another it? game. No, no, no. No, more. there's a gap. I want to go through the gap. Big, insurmountable Can I get through? Walls. No. <laughs> okay. I think this... I thought I could have got through that. Thing. It looks just big enough. All right. What's this, then? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Is this Just Rocket League? Just a nice big box for you to run around. I'm in Rocket League. Is there any possibility that you could get lost here? Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay. I'll try and get lost in this game. Where's this go? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. We need cars. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what sports ball? We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Can I? Can I? Oh, yeah. I can play Rocket League. Yeah, let's get a goal. Bop, 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 bop. In you go. In you go. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Yeah. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist. But if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, Yeah, let's do it. Then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going yeah, to try it out. definitely. Here comes another ball. Okay. Yes. Oh, goodness. That way. It really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Go on, Stanley, then. I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply go, 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 go. have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. More balls, please. Thank you. All of the balls. I want all of the balls. I want the balls in my face. Go on, then. Oh, look. Look at how many goals we're scoring. This, Stanley? Yay. Can I go down here? Hold on. What are you doing? Weren't expecting that, were you? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Okay. I'm on my own.
I can do... Oh! I fell down another hole. Oh, no! Where am I now? Oh. What's this? Like an old version of the game? Is this like a... Okay. 40. Like, these numbers are intriguing because I've got an employee number. I can't remember for the life of me what it was, though. 47, yeah. That's me, I think. Oh, wow. Am I in control now? Can I can I do anything in here? Narrator? Oh, no. I'm left by myself. Uh-oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. I do. Someone who will wrap it's everything true. up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. It is not away. <laughs> Once this ends, delusions of grandeur are much. Then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Oh, no. I can wait. Slightly creepy. Okay, we're back again at the beginning. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep, the meeting room. That's exactly where I'm going. When Stanley came to a of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I do. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. Yep. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Going this way again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. Yes, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. Yeah, Maybe. I got oh, out again. Something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I Are do. you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To okay. show you something beautiful. All right. Okay. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, fine. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The I problem so. is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get oh, somewhere no. that isn't here. Running mm -hmm. and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I <laughs> just... I want it to stop. Oh, no. Would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Okay. And That's... I think... Well, I think I have a solution. All right. Here. Let me show you. Okay. I'll go for your solution. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. So what's this then? Here. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It if is. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually Aww. feel happy. <laughs> That's nice. Let's carry on. No, wait. Where are you going? Okay, fine. If you were happy out there. There we right. go. Look. Lovely. Where were we? Ah. Oh, look. New shapes. This is lovely. Look at this. Ah. Okay. I think I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. Oh, he hasn't said anything, so... Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. You reckon? Okay, I'll go back to the happy space, then. 
I just thought, you know. Oh, look at this. Good, good. Uh, it too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. I'll just stay here for a moment. And then I'll go back because, you know, we must move on. That's it. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. It's fine. You heard me before, didn't you? I did. You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? I mean, I won't because Please, I'm hardcore. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Okay, I'm thinking. What do you reckon? Right. Okay, it's just a suicide plan. Let's go! Ah! Oh. Oh, I didn't die. Oh, Hang on. Thank God. Look at that. You lived. You had me worried there for a... No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, <laughs> I'm asking you not to take this away from me. Yeah, well... I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. What uh, are you doing? That's fine. This? Don't panic. Don't worry. It's fine. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? No. My God. Is this really how much you dislike <laughs> my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yeah. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. I am. Am I reading the situation correctly? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> oh. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I just wanted us to get along. Okay. But I guess that was too much to ask. Do you it's... actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? <laughs> I want to stay alive. I'll, I'll go in the happy room with you. There we go. Look, lovely. Oh, no. I thought I could jump off the I side. wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. Wanted is past tense. I still thought that was possible. Well, I'm afraid it's not. It's not possible. It's, um, oh, I'm moving really, really slowly. Maybe I've, like, broken my legs or something. I mean, that height is, that's pretty high. Come on, then. Let's pull ourselves up the stairs again. The narrator's gone oddly silent. Just watching in anticipation. It's fine. We've got this. Okay. Three, two, one. Whee! Is it over? There we go. It's going to restart, isn't it? It is. I'm going back. Bye bye. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. We're what back again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. It's like purgatory. Mr. Memo. Let's go this way. Let's try this route. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did. Here we go. Off we go. Oh, it's the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley uh... walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, okay, I'll go up. I'll listen to you for once. I'll see how you, uh, how you enjoy me, uh, following your instructions. Okay, here we are, boss's office. Done that well. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark go. secret was being held from him? Is that the code? What he could not have known was at the keypad behind the Eight, boss's desk guarded five, the terrible two, truth that his boss had three. been keeping from him. And so the boss no. had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Okay, what's the pin two, number? 8845. But two, of course, Stanley eight, couldn't possibly have known four, this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to enter the code code by sheer luck. It was by he sheer luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, look at this. Secret passage. Secret passage. Can I go this way? No. Why is it so dark? Alright, let's go up. Oh, it's not even going to let me go down. 
Down we go. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm a human being. Right, let's go back up. Just to annoy him. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Yeah. Me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Yep. Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> yeah, well, I wanted to go back. I felt like it. I don't like being... I've got an authority issue. I don't like being told what to do, so... I guess I'll... Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. That's right. The decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. One. This has fleshed no, out the plot eight, of the story eight. in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. No. It's okay. that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive Zero, rapid fire one, of critical three. plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry <laughs> of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm bolted What's to this? the edge of my seat. Ciders. Are they ciders? What are they? Okay. Can we go this way? Can we leave? No, it's not gonna let us. What about the keyboard? No. Nothing to interact with there. Okay, let's go. Back in the elevator. Down we go. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. That's Ladies correct. How does he keep coming up with all of this? Oh, I can go up again. Let's go up again, just to annoy him. Yay! Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? I no. did, I did. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. That's right. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. I wonder what it is. Could be the boss's office, who knows. Here we are. What's it gonna be? <laughs> it's the boss's office. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. It's the boss's office. Wow. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me yep. a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay. Oh! So what's happening? <laughs> Breaking the game. I love those things. They're so funny. Like, okay, all right. I'm ready. Okay. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move Whoa. forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Oh, we're back. We're back at the processing screen. <laughs> I love it. Narrator, where have you gone? You need to come back now. Okay. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. Okay. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. Good. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Thank you. Amazing. Right, let's go. Let's continue on. Let's go down in the elevator. Right, off we go. <laughs> off we go. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, yeah. sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand <laughs> that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. <laughs> That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. My decision-making is the only decision-making. Okay, and let's go back up again. Off we go. Ah. I wonder what he's going to say this time. Start a bit of processing, so... Uh, 
hopefully. Hmm. Here we are. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this <laughs> elevator. But the suspense, <laughs> the agony of waiting and anticipating, yeah, definitely. and having to guess, that's the real thrill. <sighs> What will it well, be? I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. It is precious. So fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Okay, let's go. Nice there and we slow. Go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. All right. So where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters? Let's Why go. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and what then is... to marvel at the eventual reveal. This what is the surprise going to be? Telling, Stanley, what you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in yes. years. Yes. And it's really all because of you. You're I the know, one who right? took this bold step of revisiting <laughs> the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. Exactly. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. I'm a We're genius. Being said such what can I say? Imaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital yes. and alive. Exactly. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. <laughs> He's people just look up talking to you, at me. Which is why, oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference. A press you, conference? So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Incredible. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Here we this go. Is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, look. A it's changed. Idea. Look at this. Okay. Amazing. The rumor we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. <laughs> well, it's healthy as human being. How we did it? The pyramids. The guy who went to Mars live on stage. All eyes on Stanley. Yes. Here I am. See? Going back to the boss's office. World peace, baby. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. I don't want to go through this door. World's first sentient machine. To right. the stage. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling. And what it means the to pass a truly reveals. unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't um, worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready, ready for you. I'm ready. Go get them. Let's go. Press conference time. Whoa, it's me. It's me. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Stanley is in the house. Woo. I didn't get to say anything. No good. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't feel like I'm going to go to the meeting oh, room. good. You noticed my sign. I yes, did? I have something very exciting to show you. Here we are. New content. Let's go. Elevator. See, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable okay. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original oh, really? Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Exactly. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Ultra, which is why super I'm duper very proud deluxe. To for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable two. The Stanley Parable 2, look at this! 
The end is never the end again. Yes, to... is she isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll exactly. cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely Invest new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different DBA directions. Two, this is what fans have truly been asking for. What's this? Okay, let's go check Comics, out the Investor Showcase. It's just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? I agree. What does it even mean? The two doors, but they're the back. Parable too. Now that's an artistic statement right there. Exactly. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, okay. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take New a look features. at some of the features I've been developing for it. I like it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Look at how impressive It'll this is. It'll work itself out. Here we are. Amazing. On, try out some of the new features. Okay. Hear your name in the game. All right. So For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, too small, the first too and big. most obvious Just answer right. is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, let's give it a try. Jim. Sorry, I should no. have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Oh. Of course, in the final game, this button will say your name. Whatever I hope name so. Is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just Hello. Care. I promise you'll love it. I am okay, Jim. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, okay. forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I am Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living a Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't <laughs> finished setting up the backstory. I if you am don't Jim. Role play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. But Otherwise, I am Jim. It's just a stupid button that I'm says Jim. somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. I am Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work. As I Jim. am. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. No, Why I don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? I want to... I want to... Jim. See, if Jim. you'd only played Jim. along, that Jim. would have been your Jim. name, the button Jim. says. But no. <laughs> Instead, oh, I can't even Jim. think about it. Jim. I'm taking the Jim, Jim. button away. No, 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 don't, 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 no. Jim, 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 Jim. Where's it go? No! Why did you do that for? I liked the gym button. But you're rubbish. I'll go look at a new feature then. What about this one? Can I press that? Okay, fine. Fine. Maybe Enjoy. I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable 2. They would appreciate what I've created here. You're not going to get very good sales then, are you? New and easy achievement. Get it here. Okay. I'll take an achievement. Let's go. Get your rise get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Okay. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yep. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is I technology want... that will exist. Right now, the achievement is I still... I want the achievement! I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But I Give guarantee it, to me. it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy no. the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. I would like Gamers, my achievement. We hear you, and I promise it will happen. No, I want that achievement. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want the achievement. Can I, like, is there anything I can unplug? No? Not gonna let me do it. 
Can I override it? I want it! Damn it. Okay. Moving on. I saw a red door. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? That's new. What's that? Let's go have a look. No screenshots. Let's have a little look then. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. Yeah, and I, I reckon undecided so. on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Um... I would go with um, get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that it's you knew stab which me. one you actually really wanted all along. Happy hey. 12th birthday, step niece it is. I wanted that one. I wanted get well soon someday. Okay, fine. Oh, look, you've changed it all. Well, oh, actually. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've no. made my decision. We're moving on. No, I think you should reconsider your decision because your decision was poor. Mine was better. Go Come now. You've already made your choice. It's no. true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. I chose badly? No, I didn't. I want... I want this one. Let me choose. Let me choose. I want to choose. This is not okay. This is not okay. I wanted to get well soon. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, look. Merchandise. T-shirts. Nice. Oh, what's this? A common complaint of the parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That okay. it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Yep. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Okay. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Sounds good. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. There it is. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Okay. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? I would like yes, my bucket. The bucket is the perfect solution. Give me the Come bucket. On, give it a try. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. I, I love it. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Oh, thank I you. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive <laughs> as a person. Amazing. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I can't wait. The reassurance bucket. Okay, so I'm going to take the reassurance bucket and go back to my decision regarding the balloons. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Okay. Let me change. I want to change the choice. Fine. What's this? The gym button. We've done that. Mere achievement. The exit. Okay. Let's leave. I've got my bucket. Happy with this. Jump circle. We've done that. Let's carry on. Moving on. Oh, goodness. Um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I, 
I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles, okay? Okay. All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Let's go have a look at the collectibles then. Can you find them all? Oh, what's this? Ah, ah. collectibles. Now it's a real video game. It in is. In Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting what all What figurines? Of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Look at that. Incredible. Almost biblical. So I can collect this, yeah? Yay! One out of six. Collect them all. Can you find them all? Okay. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Well, I quite enjoy it. Are the collectibles on the map? Okay, let's just leave then. I've seen the collectibles. I'm more than happy with this exhibition. Very arty. I like it. That looks like a pirate to me. That looks like a terminator. And that looks like a building that's falling over. And there's Stanley right there. Look at that. So impressive. What's this then? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's I mean, I have my work. bucket. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Yay! Look at that. Um, That's cool. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. It looks all right. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Oh, oh. yes. yes. Drum roll. Much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Ready. Two. Steady. Oh. What have you done? You've uh, messed it up. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up the to jump anything. jump circle. Oh, I've got the bucket, I wanted haven't I? more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they I would love stand it. on their I own. I love the bucket. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. I love the collectibles. Wait. Maybe that's it's good. It. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Piss you can. Force, with respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Exactly. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Okay. Let's see if I can whip something up. <laughs> Go on then. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Here we go. What's changed? The Stanley Parable 2. Look at that. It's got an epic intro and everything. They hid the second Stanley Parable in the first game. Very impressive. All right. This is the story of Oh, do we get another Stanley. intro? Is it Stanley different? Worked for a oh, look, he's put the balloons in. Where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427. It's like sneaking was those new features in there. of his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, <laughs> telling him what buttons to push. 
how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every... Let's skip that. Oh look, he's put the balloons in. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he simply them? missed a memo. Oh, that would be amazing if I could have popped them. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him. What bucket? Him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Where's the bucket? Oh, the bucket. Yeah, I'll take Stanley the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. The reassurance bucket. Let's go. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It is. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket, the bucket, was, bucket was wrong. wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, nope, I'm going right. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo <laughs> lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Yep. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. I Stanley don't want to listen to the bucket. Why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. <laughs> he was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. The bucket and had spoken to me. he did whatever the bucket asked. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I want the bucket Unless, to come with me. the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket. True, I don't. I suppose I don't. that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent <laughs> on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. I know, I know it's a bucket. Step in here for a moment. Okay, fine. Bucket orientation, yay! Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. <laughs> okay. Simply enough, right? This right. should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay. Okay, let's be... Right, here we go. <laughs> Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It a is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh, very clever. All right. It's a hologram. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed <laughs> recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. He's tricking me. He's tricking me. I'm saying no, it's not a bucket. Okay. Item three. Is this a bucket? No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Okay. Item four. <laughs> is this a bucket? Yeah. What? Are you hallucinating? <laughs> this is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tells the earth. I think this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. What's the next one? Is it going to be a bucket? <laughs> it's a Is tractor a again. <laughs> yes. Correct. This is a bucket. No, it's not. <laughs> what are you doing? You're lying to me, narrator. <laughs> Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Oh, okay. How is it both a bucket, but not a bucket? That makes no sense. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Just put anything on there. It's fine. Okay. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait. When I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, <laughs> which of course is not true. Nothing Unless, isn't is a bucket. Answer me straight, Stanley. 
Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. Uh, what is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. <laughs> and yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Well, you said a Do tractor any of was us a bucket. Know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? <laughs> Probably. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Don't take my bucket. I'm, that. I'm sorry. Don't take my bucket, I'm please. I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No. Okay. Here we go. No, 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 no. I want to keep my bucket. <gasps> How what mean? Happened? Is everything gone? Oh, yeah, because I said everything, everything Wait, was a bucket. Was everything so. a bucket? Yeah. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. You better recreate could, the game. Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. No. Nope. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. <laughs> yes, I actually feel much more at ease. You keep saying right the now. word it's so still, many I times. I get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Okay. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into <laughs> anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? Right. All right, here we go. New life mantra. Everything is a bucket. <laughs> Nothing isn't a bucket apart from me. All right. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all? Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. There we go. You're take my bucket every bucket time now. To his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Exactly. Telling him that the employee <laughs> lounge was simply the place to be. I do enjoy. It was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? The no, bucket was correct. Mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Okay, the bucket. Cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. I There's trust something you. something up there I need you to do. I Stanley trust did you, not bucket. Question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He's he right, actually. Buckets can't bucket talk. had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Okay. Come on, then, bucket. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again okay. obeyed blindly. Yep. It's a... Yeah. Now pick up the phone said the bucket pick okay. up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together okay hello <laughs> the bucket told me to do it oh what's happened this is the sad story of a man named stanley oh, and his no. bucket. once upon a time i gave stanley a bucket because i thought he was lonely i could use a friend <laughs> <laughs> and then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> it, it was speaking to me. Everybody heard it. Like, okay. Where's my bucket? I want my bucket. Where is it? Where's my bucket? I can't. I can't live without my bucket. Oh, there it Oh. Okay. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. It does. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. No, it's not. It's real. The bucket told me. There we go. <sighs> Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object. <laughs> I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I, just I don't spat. know if he'll listen to me. No. I want to go back to work with my bucket. Well, I'll try anyway. <laughs> Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. Yep. It's just a bucket. 
It can't think, it can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's, That's not it. all buckets do. do. They have so ma many more uses. There we go. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me, he trusted <laughs> and listened to. Now, all he cares I about is this I never listen to bucket, you, narrator. This stupid hunk of metal. Yep. Or anyone in your life except for me. Okay. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of <laughs> shiny bucket. It's bringing hmm. joy oh, to my life. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Uh, you believe I'm with reals, don't you, Stanley? So go back home. Okay. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. <laughs> it's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? You introduced the bucket. More capable of transporting liquid. It like is. it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Relive the same day with me over and over. Oh my god. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally <laughs> just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's so much more than a bucket. You don't even understand. I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? It's my yeah, bucket. What the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't Why understand. Why is it on the perhaps, bed? Perhaps if I had There's the bucket, candles. this would be less confusing. Yes. Uh. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Exactly. Stanley, give me the bucket. No. Give it to me. No. Give me the bucket, Stanley. No, it's mine. I need it. Give it to me now. No. Give it or up. No. My bucket. You can't have it. Stanley, go back to work. Okay. Can't believe that. Try to take my bucket. Not okay. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley, the confusion and the chaos I'm all seemed it. to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket <laughs> tightly to his chest. All right. And, uh, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. The bucket did him call to me. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. The bucket is and my new was. friend. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. I don't listen to anyone. No, <laughs> said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go Let's there. Go, down there. go to the cargo lift. How do I get down there? Alright, suicide. <laughs> but Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, <laughs> his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death. <laughs> exactly. That they might die in one another's arms. Yeah. How deeply touching. And that's it. This time, oh, wonderful. Stanley was alone. I'm not taking the Finally. bucket. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Exactly. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, fine. I'll listen to you this time. Here we are. Yeah, the there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here we go. Let's go then. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, oh, no. desperate for clues to his situation. Okay. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. I've forgotten desk. the code. What could its purpose be? In fact, 
This keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay Two, buried below his feet. And so eight, the boss had assigned seven, an extra secret five. pin number. 2845. Oh, 2845. There we go. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing I the know the code. The keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What can I say? Oh, a collectible. Found one of them. Yeah. The figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting <laughs> all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. That's what you I can't like. Buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I definitely will. Okay, let's move on. The elevator. Oh, we're already in it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility or Escape. I'm going to go for the Mind Control Facility. Sounds fun. Alright. Here we are. What's this do? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I do. Let's go. Okay, camera's on. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Mm -hmm. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Where fired? Meant nothing. Fired? What, they all get fired? Where's me? Is that me? What number am I again? Two five seven, right? Okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? <laughs> Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Come on then. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Exactly. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was nope. it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world could you imagine that like you just wake up one day and it's group, the heart of the operation oh. controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place oh. and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I would. Let's keep it on, though. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that exactly. what you wanted? Control. That is what I want. Oh, uh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Nope. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, I do. and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh In no! The event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. What? Eliminating the entire complex. No! How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Two ah, minutes? This is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Whoa! It's your time to shine. You um, are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. I oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame no. we have so little no. time left to enjoy it. 
Mere moments until the bomb goes off. What are you but doing? What precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Oh no! Everything. What all this means, I barely Stop. know where to start. D can I What's decode that? it? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Five. A okay. moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased okay. them. I need to find I the button that the says five. I set you free. Is that course, it? That was merely no, in this no, no, instance no, no, of no, the story. No. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office wait, forever, wait, wait. pushing okay. buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sit There's a code the here to decipher. Everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. No. I have to say this though. This version of events has been rather amusing. No. What you no, try no. to make sense okay. of everything and take back the control wrested away from you? It's quite okay. Sick. I've got it. I almost hate to see it go. Blue. But I'm blue, sure blue, 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 blue. Come up with on the next go around will be even better. Blue. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. No! But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Blue, 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 blue. These blue, are blue, precious blue. additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Blue free! Blue free! Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right no, now? No, I'm looking for blue free. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Something Running in this room button is... to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will say. There's got to be a way. What do you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your Where's purpose in this place is? The door. <laughs> the door. Stanley. No. You're for quite a disappointment. But Hang here's on. a spoiler for you. That Press time any key to send power search. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Console you're disabled. Only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Are there more? To see you made humble. There must be more. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted What's to this control say? this What's world. What's this say? Fine. You have three attempts but remaining. First, so you Goodbye, can't. employee 2427. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No! Just you being blown. There must be a way. There must be a way. To your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. No. It or death. It's, it's, it's all the same to me. Is all there any way out? out? Is there any I'm way out? I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say. Wait, aren't you gonna life. die? Two. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the Stanley Parable. We will be returning to this game at some point. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you so wish. If you have any games to recommend, drop me a message or a comment. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll make some more fun choices next time we play. So until next time, toodaloo. See you later.